Hey guys, it's Denise Salcedo with Red Carpet Report, and today we are in downtown LA for the second season premiere of Vita on Stars. All right, so first of all, I gotta tell you, congratulations on this second season of Vita. Tell me a little bit about what the cast reaction was like, what your personal reaction was like to getting renewed. Oh, for the second season, you mean? Well, I wasn't in the first season, so, uh, you know, I, I, I live in New York, and I just remember starting to see all the billboards and stuff uh, with, you know, the, the promotional stuff for Vida and just thinking, like, that's my homie show, you know, it's Tanya's show, I'm, like, I'm so excited. And then, you know, when I, when I found out that I was going to be in the second season, of course, I was uh, thrilled. Like, I, I admire these people a lot, these actors, and the story that they're telling, so it was really, it was really like, special for me. So how did that come about? How did you land your role? Uh, I was in a cab in New York and uh, I got a phone call from Tanya and she said, do you want to be in my show? And I said, yeah, I do. <laughs> that was really it. What did that mean for me? What did that mean to you hearing that from Tanya? Um, well, she and I have known each other for a long time. We've, we worked together um, the first time in 2012. I did a play of hers um, at Sundance um, and then I did another play of hers. It's like in 2014. So we've known each other. We have a history. We know each other really well and I think that we both trust each other with storytelling and and it was, I, I, you know, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't like nervous or I didn't feel like a lot of pressure. I was just like, oh yeah, yeah, cool. I'm ready. Let's go. You know. So was it easy jumping into an already established cast? What was it like? Yeah. Oh, it was tremendous. I mean, these people have become like some of my closest friends and, and they're, you know, more than loving. I mean, it's like really stepping into your family again. Like, you know, it, it's like, uh, it's like I'm the distant cousin that, that was like bad at showing up to shit, but you know, here I am. So. That's awesome. What can you tell us in terms of what your favorite part was of the second season, or maybe a little bit about your role, what the fans should look forward to? Well, I just think it's, I, I always, I'm like a character-driven person as far as like what, what I like to watch and what, what my entertainment is. is. Um, and so I, I think with the second season, it's really cool to see these characters kind of develop more and their relationships. We, we got to like observe their relationships to each other more because the first season is more, you know, about establishing what's going on. And, and this season is more, you know, like, what's next you know and who really are these people and how do they handle issues and 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 so it's really i mean the whole thing is really good the storytelling is really powerful and it's uh it's you know it's in the bones so wonderful well said thank you so much for talking to me today and enjoy the rest of the night thank you thank you guys so much for watching our coverage of vita season two if you guys like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel for more and in the comments below let us know what you're most looking forward to during this second season and don't forget to catch it on stars on may 26th